Accelerating the installs and that helps because some newcomers like Lockridge and Scott came for spring ball. But what about guys like Andres Fox and Pacola? How are they doing as newcomers this fall camp? Actually, they're doing they're doing solid. Uh, for the guys that just arrived, it's a very very difficult challenge to get up to speed in three days. You know, we've, you know sometimes you get into training camp mode and you feel like you've been here two months already. It's only been three practices, but. Uh, so for those guys, uh, every day there's something new that they're hearing. For the other guys, there's stuff that they can relate to. Uh, but, you know, we do walkthroughs in the morning. We walk through uh, a lot of what we're going to practice. So um, they're handling it pretty well overall. What do you feel like, what position group is sticking out to you right now as maybe being moving along pretty fast in terms of schemes and things like okay. that? Uh, well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, you know, Pleased with the, uh, the back end guys, the uh, guys in the secondary and the linebackers, uh, especially the veteran guys. They're they're communicating very very well. They seem to be on the same page, and the the group that has actually caught everybody's eye from a personnel standpoint early in the camp are the young defensive linemen. Uh, I'm anxious to go watch the tape here uh, after practice. We did some drill work that. Uh, we want to evaluate and look at, at their progress, but there's some young guys that are uh, showing promise that they might be able to be in the rotation and help us. So um, overall, I think we're you know where we want to be. Uh, we haven't had a bad day, uh, knock on wood. We just uh, keep on trying to stack positive days on top of one another. It's not going to be perfect every play. A lot of the stuff we're defending is stuff that our offense is doing, but we're just installing our defense, trying to give them principles, if you follow what I mean. So it's not like you're game planning in a meeting to stop this play or this formation. So a lot of it happens kind of on the fly, which is what happens in games at times. So this time of camp, I really like because it's not, no one has an advantage of knowing what the other guy's doing. You have to play good sound football. So who's playing the most sound football right now? You talk about the secondary and also on the defensive line. Um, that's a hard call overall. Uh, you know, I'd have to watch today's practice mm -hmm. to tell you for sure, because today was the first day we had shoulder pads on. We were running around in uh, gym shorts and T-shirts the last couple of days. So uh, they're all making good progress, and uh, it's a little early to tell which group is uh, ahead of From what you can recall, any plays stand out in your eyes that happened uh, today? Today, yeah, we had a nice pick on third down. Evan Williams made a heck of a play in a coverage we put in uh, uh, yesterday, and uh, it, was, uh, it was well executed by the entire group. That was, uh, that was impressive. Uh, we've had some uh, balls broken up down the field. We've had some good pass rush. We're not sacking the quarterback. We're trying to stay away from the quarterback, which is not easy. Uh, but I, I think our pass rush has looked good over the first three practices. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yep.